All right, you guys, today's recipe is a good one. It is these broccoli and corn fritters. They are incredibly easy to make. They're vegetarian, perfect for a side dish or even a light dinner. As always, don't forget to subscribe. You don't wanna miss any of those new videos coming out. Now, the key to this recipe, I use fresh broccoli. I use fresh corn because I love the flavor so much. You wanna chop these up kind of small. I know a lot of people throw fritter ingredients into a food processor or blender but i actually like the little small chunks so i prefer just to chop it up once everything's all cut up and ready to go add everything into your bowl now i'm not going to list everything out here the ingredients plus the measurements are all going to be in the description so put everything together into your bowl with the spices the breadcrumbs parmesan cheese one note about the eggs is i actually like to beat them separately before i put them into the into the fritter batter. I just think it mixes in so much easier when you do this. Now, one thing I need to note too, is you wanna make sure that you mix this really well. Give it some time, mix it all together. You don't wanna have like chunks of eggs. You want everything all cohesive in there. Once it's all mixed together, you're gonna to choose how you wanna cook them. I did it on the electric griddle. You can always do it on the cooktop as well. Be sure that your pan or your griddle is very hot and then add plenty of oil to it as well. Now when you put the fritters on there, of course you're going to want to mound them and press them in just a little bit. And I know at this point it does not look like they're going to hold together. It looks like they're going to fall apart. But I promise that once they cook, that egg works as the perfect binder. So go ahead and cook them until they're golden brown on one side and then you're going to flip them over and cook them on the other side as well. Now you can see that some of the juices and the egg mixture kind of come out of the fritter just a little bit. If that bothers you, you can pull it off just like I'm doing with the spatula right here. I did it on a couple of them, but it actually doesn't bother me. So the rest of them, I just left like they are. And then of course, once these are done, they're best eaten right away. You can use them as a side dish or even a light meal. My family loves these with a spicy mayo, like a sriracha mayo or a Cholula mayo even. And that's it. They're so simple to do. Anyone can make these fritters.